Okay, so our application is Checkmate, an intelligent task planning system uh, designed for a search engine class. A uh, brief intro, uh, the problem that we're trying to address is tasks are often unpredictable, especially for students. Um, often students overcommit to tasks that they cannot complete, um, and that makes planning and replanning tasks pretty stressful for the user. So the solution that we have is Checkmate, an intelligent task time recommendation system that helps out with task replanning um, and pretty much schedules tasks on what you will complete rather than not what you want to complete. Uh, so the application flow, uh, pretty simple. You can view tasks, create tasks, and organize tasks. Uh, in terms of adding tasks, it's easy and fluid for the user, and it helps us create a lot of important context items for the different tasks, such as task type, location, priority, length, and time. Uh, and this is used to help us gain recommended times and help out with some filtering later. Uh, so for collecting recommended times, uh, the user is given recommended times for a three-day forecast, uh, and these are based on times that we think the user will be able to complete based on different um, context items for the task type and context items for the user. So it includes task type, task length, active calendars, and user location, and utilizes the classification model that we built um, based on the likelihood of completing a task given these parameters. Uh, in terms of data collection, uh, we utilize a hands-free training of a completion classification model. So we used a KNN um, trained on individual user data based on what you've completed or not completed, and we gathered about 80% accuracy on testing data. Checkmate also helps advise users when they should leave for a task, unscheduled task sorting, and time recommendations. For filtering, users can, can filter tasks based on the home page, allowing for a quick and easy task finding. And for user context, we have a settings page where there's a home address for better recommendations on ta location and task times, along with Google Calendar integration, allowing for a, a user's schedule to be known. Checkmate uses your previous data from prior tasks in order to personalize recommendations and provide easy tasks for you to complete next. It also contains an unscheduled feed sorted by multiple parameters, including task priority, its proximity to your location, and the length of the task. In conclusion, Checkmate utilizes the user's location, calendar schedule, and task priority in order to provide informed recommendations on future task planning. Checkmate does all of this while providing a sleek and simple user interface, stress-free planning, and thus helps with completing tasks. Tasks are unpredictable. Plan with intelligence. Use Checkmate. All right. Okay, so going into the demo for our application, uh, we can see we're on the home page of Checkmate. Uh, it splits tasks into three separate categories. First, we have limbo tasks, then we have scheduled tasks, and unscheduled tasks. Limbo tasks are tasks that have already happened already, but we haven't said whether or not they've been completed. Scheduled tasks are tasks that are going to happen in the future, and unscheduled tasks are tasks that haven't happened yet, they have no time, and they're sorted by priority and proximity to give the user a better idea of what they have a high likelihood of completing. So the first page we're going to go into is the settings page. The settings page, you can implement some user context, um, for example, for different addresses. This is used for finding uh, likelihood of recommended times uh, based on location, and then different calendars that are integrated with your Google Calendar account. Um, so you can select and hide different uh, calendar applications so that way we know what time you're free and available in. OK, so for creating a task, it's pretty simple. We just go to the Create Task page, and we get a panel that shows all the information that you can add to create a task. Let's say we wanted to work out at the Arc. Um, and then we can select a different task type. So we can choose Work, Personal. Uh, we'll choose Exercise for this one. We'll choose the Anteater Recreation Center for this information. And then we, get, we can select a priority or a different task time. Um, and then we'll get a drop down of all the recommended times for our application um, for the day. So these are all times that our KNN and uh, Context API chooses uh, that you're most likely to complete based on the information. Um, so for today, we can choose that we want to work out at 11.30 PM um, and then save the task. And we should see the task appear on the main page um, right here. Uh, so here we see that the workout task, um, which is an exercise task, appeared for 11.30 uh, in our schedule. And we see that it's six minutes away. We're currently on UCI's campus, so um, it uses the current location of the user and where the app is uh, to determine where, how far away it is so you can get a little notification. Um, other functionality in terms of unscheduled tasks, we can see that it's sorted by priority. So let's say we wanted to create um, a task that's further away for washing our hands. So we could wash hands far away. And we uh, don't want, don't 
get coronavirus. This is a personal task, and then we can set it to be in Washington, DC, um, which is pretty far away from us. Uh, we'll say that it has a priority of three, so that way it matches the priority of the other wash hands task, and we won't select the time, so that way it schedules it at unselected. Um, we see that it successfully posted the task. We go up, refresh the page, and then we should see that uh, the unscheduled tasks, the one that's further away, is lower on the priority list. So here we see that the task uh, for far, washing far away is a lower priority than the one that's closer by. So we can go and edit the priority, and we should see it uh, appear on the page for unscheduled tasks. Um, and we see that the further one way appears at a higher priority, um, higher up on the page. So the last part of the application is the limbo tasks. So tasks that we've completed, um, we can just say that we've completed, and that goes and trains our KNN properly. Um, and if you haven't completed it, it'll advise you to either reschedule it or just close the task and say you didn't complete it. So rescheduling just brings you back to the main edit task page, and you can choose a new recommended time for the task. Another feature that we have for Checkmate is sorting tasks based on the type and the name. Um, so if you go to the top, you can sort tasks by the, the type. Um, we'll see that we see all exercise tasks right here. Um, we could also sort by meeting, um, and then we could also just sort for uh, tasks based on the name. So things with like wash hands, further away or closer, uh, will be filtered on our feed so that way the user can more easily select the tasks that they're searching for. Um, and that kind of covers it. So overall, things that we wanted to accomplish is we wanted a really simple, nice interface that is very easy to use. Uh, we integrated pretty well with Google Calendar, so you can see different tasks that are available on your Google Calendar as well, generated from Checkmate. Um, it integrates a lot of different user context information uh, and makes it all presentable in a really clean and easy way to use. Um, in terms of things that we wanted to accomplish a little further, uh, we wanted to do a little more alerts. So when you were in the main um, homepage, you would get alerts saying, okay, let's go and uh, you have to leave to right now to be able to make your next task that is available. Um, and then also just do uh, bring in more context information from the Google Calendar. So uh, we wanted to present tasks that are in your Google Calendar on this application. So you have one localized feed um, for, for one thing. And then do a little more with uh, the priority and advising for when you should schedule unscheduled tasks. Um, so overall, that's our app. Thank you for listening, and good luck with all your other projects.